they they used to wake me up in the middle of the night because back then we didn't have buses that took us every place. You rented vans or cars to get around, and they always gave me a a van. So I took the luggage always to the hotel where we were staying. And so guys would call me up and say, hey, Rook, I need to go out and get something to eat at 2 or 3 in the morning. (laughs) And that was like joining a fraternity, you know. Lou Hudson was the worst. When I was my first time in Boston, never been in Boston in my life, I get a phone call at 2.30 in the morning, and Lou called me up. He said, hey, Rook, were you asleep? I said, no, Lou, I was laying here with my eyes closed just waiting for this call. (laughs) What do you mean, was I asleep? Yes, I'm asleep. He says, I want you to go and get me a cheeseburger, okay, and hot apple pie a la mode. I said, Lou, I have no idea where the hell I am, okay? And he says, well, you go down and ask concierge. They'll tell you there's an all-night place around the block, blah, blah, blah. So I go and I get it and I come back. And he says, hey, I want you to know. He says, the pie is not hot enough. (laughs) And that's when I told him, well, you're going to have to fight me now, okay? But it was a form of initiation. It was a form of, you know, being accepted. Today, you don't get that because the rookies, you know, they make so much money and veterans – they can't do that, right? And uh, I suppose uh, now nowadays they're not 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 necessarily paying what paying mind to whatever is, whatever is happening around them. They're in their headphones and and traveling uh, traveling with the best planes. But back then you you actually had to communicate with your with your veterans so so they would accept you. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what it was. And it was Joe Caldwell was another player who was on that team, Fogo and Joe. I'll never forget he. Yeah, he had his birthday in Kansas City, all right? And, of course, I get the call after the game. We're going out for his birthday party. I drive. They make me sit in the car. We're good, like I'm a chauffeur, okay? <laughs> and and they, come, they come out of this little bar, and he's lit up. Like I mean, he, he is – Joe couldn't drink a beer anyway. He'd get drunk just smelling alcohol. <laughs> So <laughs> we drove him back. We drove him back to the hotel. I helped him to get up the next morning so he wouldn't miss the bus. And, you know, because he went commercially back then. And I'll never forget, as we were on our way to the airport, he says, you're not a rookie anymore. You are now a part of being the team. 